Would you vote to certify and will you vote to certify the results of the 2024 election, no matter what they show? Well, I voted not to certify the state of Pennsylvania because, as we saw in Pennsylvania and other states across the country, that there was unconstitutional acts circumventing the state legislature and unilaterally changing election law. What about 2024? No, what about 2024? We Congress will Senate? see if this is a legal and valid election. What we're seeing so far is that Democrats are so desperate, they're trying to remove President Trump from the ballot. That is the suppression of the American people. And the Supreme Court is taking that case up in February. That should be a nine to zero to allow President Trump to uh, appear on the ballot because that's the American people's decision to make this November. And the matter is, of course, halted pending that appeal, as you say. But just to be very clear, I don't hear you committed to certifying the election results. Will you only commit to certify the results? If, if they're president constitutional, Trump wins? if they, does that mean the former president Trump no, wins? it means if they are constitutional. What we saw in 2020 was unconstitutional circumventing of the of the Constitution, not going through state legislatures when it comes to changing election law. And we're seeing this in my home state of New York, Kristen. We are seeing Democrats try to steal the election and illegally gerrymander congressional districts that we fairly won and are fair lined. So I see this at a very local level, as well as the unconstitutional overreach we saw at the national level I, in 2020. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.